thank you, thank you so much. And you don't know how much it means to me and what a privilege it is to be here today. In 1977, this was a very different North London. And I was very proud to be a councillor for this ward here. Martha, myself and many others were part of the anti-racist scene and activity in this area. And so it's a real privilege to be alongside Martha here today, as it is Catherine, Matt Rack and so many others. Because what happened in 1977 was the National Front were a rising force in London. And they decided to mount a march coming here along Green Lanes to go up through Wood Green High Road and they were hoping to hold a rally much further up beyond the North Circular. And a number of us got together. Bernie Grant, Mick Gosling, Phil Marfleet, myself, and a very large number of other people. Sheila Peacock and many others met together here to discuss what we're going to do about the attempt by the National Front to break up and divide our communities. I was also a councillor as well as being a, a, a Labour activist locally and a member of the Trades Council. And it was absolutely crucial and essential that all communities came together in this. So we did indeed get together to organise a counter-demonstration. And this common, Duckett's Common, was completely full of people. And this was pre-internet days, so getting information out was much, much more difficult. So we did it with a hand duplicator. We did it with electric duplicators. We did leaflets in a big hurry. And we got them out as widely as we possibly could. And we made phone calls to people to come and support us. We had no idea what the response was going to be like. Harringay Council, then as now, represents one of Britain's most diverse boroughs and communities. And to its eternal credit, all councillors, and I mean all, took the view that the far right were not welcome in this borough. And so we organised the counter demonstration here. We had a very large banner stretched out through the middle of where you are now saying Harringay councillors against the National Front. And then we had a stage and a rally here. Ted Knight, Tarek Ali, many, many people spoke at that rally because the rally had to go on for a very long time because we were waiting for the National Front to come, a bit like you've been waiting for me to come today. <laughs> Although I hope I'm more welcome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the local community responded in a very interesting way. Because I was advised by, um, let me put it gently, elders and betters from all over, don't get involved in challenging the National Front. They're irrelevant, they're not important, they'll go away. That's what we were told. My reply was, I don't think so. I think the message of division, hate, racism, the message of racial superiority, the message of discrimination is wrong, 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 wrong at any time in history. And again to its credit, the Hornsey Journal, the local newspaper, and the NUJ uh, chapel at the newspaper came out with a historic copy. Some of you may have seen reprints of it, which was a swastika saying 40 years on, the march of hate must be stopped. And it was again, that's that mobilized a lot of people. So hundreds, thousands of people came here to Duckett's Common and we, in a peaceful way, said, they shall not pass. In exactly the same way that my parents' generation had stood at Cable Street in 1936 to say, they shall not pass. And there were, yes, there were difficulties and there were problems here. I'm not pretending otherwise. But I tell you this, by standing here that day on this common to say they shall not pass, the tide turned against the rise of the far right, the intolerance and the racism that they were promoting all over London and indeed all over the country. 
And a few weeks later, they tried the same trick in Lewisham, and it didn't work because hundreds of thousands of people became mobilized. The Anti-Nazi League grew out of it, and lots of other organizations grew out of it. And so, a whole young generation of the 1970s, particularly black youngsters in the mid-1970s, fearful of what might happen to them, were suddenly emboldened because the whole community realized there is no future in racism, there is no future in division, there is no future in discrimination. The only way communities can achieve anything is by coming together and working together. And the late Bernie Grant, sadly, is no longer with us. He went on to become one of the Haringey's MPs for Tottenham, and he was a very dear and very close friend of mine. And the whole politics changed, and I think what we did that day, on St George's Day, 1977, should go down in history as when a community stood up and said, the racists shall not pass. And so, in the atmosphere that's happened in so many communities across this country over the last few months, the growth of xenophobia, the rise of the far right all across Europe, the uh, anti-Semitism, the Islamophobia, the hatred that has developed in so many. I simply say this, hatred is a waste of time, a waste of energy, and saps the moral fibre of an entire community. Young people growing up together, understanding and proud of the diversity of their communities, achieve so much more, so much more by that sense of solidarity, understanding the different experiences and values and backgrounds we all come from, but come together in that sense of human solidarity and a spirit of unity. That is what we're celebrating today. What we're celebrating is the contribution that everybody can make. And so, the way Martin Luther King put it in 1963 was, judge people by the morale and strength of their character, not to anything else. Our communities come together in strength and in unity. Haringey is one of the most diverse boroughs in London in the whole country. And I'm proud to represent Islington North nearby, which isn't that different. And I'm very proud that my political experience and my education has come from people that have come to this country and made their homes here, or whose fathers, mothers, and grandparents came and made their homes here, and made such an incredible contribution to our society. Our health service, our education, our well-being, our diversity is enriched, enriched by the diversity of our communities. And so, today... Here on Duckett's Common, remember what happened before, although I'm looking out at this audience and so many of you sadly were not even born at that time, but you understand the importance of it. Look at history as what the contribution people make for the good of the generations that come in the future. I mentioned Cable Street, I mentioned those that opposed the rise of anti-Semitism and fascism in the 1930s. And because the fascists were not defeated in the 1930s, the Holocaust happened. You can never compromise with intolerance. You can never compromise with racism. You can never compromise with those forces. Our strength together, as people together, is what makes us strong, makes our community strong, and gives us hope and strength for the future of the kind of world we can create together. Thank you very much for inviting me here today.